So what are the best all-in-one computers for 2022? I got 12 of them. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back to my channel. So what are we gonna do today? Well, I have 12 of the best all-in-one computers you can buy. So if you're looking for an all-in-one computer, either at the end of 2021 or 2022, these systems should have you covered. These are gonna be 12 of the best systems. They're gonna range in cost from 500 to about 1,300 bucks, somewhere in that range covering a whole bunch of different values, but they're all gonna be great values. And this is not gonna be a review if you watched my channel before. I am a small channel, so I can't afford to buy all 13 systems or 12 systems that I have here. But what I've done is I went out and looked at all the different reviews. I own one of them, I've tested a number of them, and these are gonna be 12 of the best value systems you can buy if you're looking for an all-in-one computer in 2022. Without further ado, let's get into the video one through 12. All right, so the very first suite of computers, there's gonna be three of them, and I'm gonna go through HPs first. So the very first HP, and I'm gonna have pictures of these along the way and show you, but I'm gonna to touch on them, because this is gonna be, otherwise the video will go on forever, right? So I'm gonna to touch on these systems, and you can go back, all these links will be in the video's description if you wanna check them out yourself. So go to the video's description and check, you know, click on the link and you'll see all of these systems there. So the very first one is gonna be the HP 24 inch all-in-one. This is a great value at 468. It's 24 inches, 1080p, this is gonna have an AMD and uh, Athlon Silver CPU. It's going to be a 3050U processor, so an Athlon Silver, which is a pretty, you know, mid mid range, I guess. It's going to be good enough for most people. It's going to have uh, 8 gigs of RAM, which I claim is the minimum, 256 gigabyte SSD, and this has Windows. Let me see here, Windows 10 Home on it as well. So this is for 468. This is a really good value. Now the second one is, from, I'm going to do three from HP first. So if you want to take a step up now, you want to go ahead with the 24 inch again, 1080p. It's from HP. This is a touchscreen desktop computer as well. This is going to be an AN, AMD Athlon Gold, so it's a little bit the silver, now it's gold. This is going to be the 3150U processor, and it's 8 gigs of RAM. Now it's going to double the space at 512 gigabytes of storage, so doubling that SSD storage. This one comes in at 598, and you can see the design here. It's a nice design, very attractive, all-in-one system from HP, but maybe you want a little bit more power. You don't want those like Athlon systems. Let's go to the next one by HP. This one's a little bit better, and this one's going to come in at 899. So if you have about 900 bucks, this is a great system. It's the 11th gen Intel i5, so you get the Intel 11th gen. It's the uh, i5 1135G7 CPU. 512 gigabytes of storage on this one, 8 gigs of RAM, touchscreen, Windows 10. Great value at just under 900 bucks. All right, the next one we're gonna to go to is Lenovo. So these systems are really good. They're gonna be very small bezels on them. They almost look just like monitors. They're very small, very portable. This first one I'm gonna say is gonna be a good value again. These might be the best values, but these are gonna be 549 bucks for this first one. So 500, it's called the Lenovo Idea Center. A, well, actually, let me take a step back. Lenovo Idea Center AIO, which is all in one, three. That's the name of the system here. This is gonna be a 24 inch, just like 1080p, just like the other ones. It's gonna have a Ryzen 3 chip. Now, this is gonna be the difference. It's gonna have a Ryzen 3, which is a great CPU. It's gonna have eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigabyte SSD. It's also gonna have, uh, let me see, it's business black and have Windows 10 on it. So if you're looking for something that's very business oriented, Lenovo is a great system here. This one's only 549 for that Ryzen 3. But let's say you want Lenovo, but you wanna step up. Let's go to the next one. The next one's gonna be very similar, Lenovo Idea Center All-in-One 3. Um, and this is gonna be the 24 inch Ryzen 5 4500U, so a step up on the CPU, great Ryzen 5 chip. Also 16 gigs of RAM, so power, you know, definitely a lot of power in the RAM there. And then 512 gigabyte SSD, so a great value. This one's only 719. So I think at the end of the video, I'm gonna rate which I think is the best out of all these. This could be it, because I mean, look at those 16 gigs of RAM, 512 SSD, Lenovo, 719 bucks. Again, links will be in the description, but let's keep going. All right, the next one is gonna be by Dell, and Dell are great all-in-one systems. They work really well, you have very little problems, they last a really long time. So the very first one's the Dell Inspiron 5400 all-in-one, and this is gonna be 24 inch, just like all the other ones, 23.8, 1080p. It's gonna have an i5 right out of the gate, 11 series or 11 series i5, what is it, the 11, 11357G, eight gigs of RAM, 
512 SSD there, and this got Windows 10, and this comes in at about 819, so a little bit more pricey. Great system, great reviews on this system, though. These last a super long time with Dell. But let's say you want something with a lot more power, and you're looking for it, just stay under that $1,300, $1,200 price range, but you want more power. The next one up from Dell is it. So this next one I'm gonna show you is the Dell Inspire Run. It's basically the 5,000 all-in-one. This is 24 inch. It's got the same i5 chip, but this one's got a lot different. It's got 32 gigs of RAM. So 32 gigs of DDD4 RAM and a full solid one terabyte SSD drive. So think about that. One terabyte SSD, just that itself is maybe 150, 200 bucks in value. And then you got everything else. It's got Windows, let me see here. It's gonna come with Windows as well. So. Great system. If you're looking for Dell's name, I recommend this one. This is called the 5000 all in one latest model. Now, let's go drop it down a little bit. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through some, some other systems coming up, including Apple and even a Chromebook. And stay tuned for the Chromebook because it's the craziest Chromebook you've ever seen. So stay tuned for that. All right. The next one, though, I'm going to step it down some pricing here. The ASUS all-in-one. So they make a couple different systems as well. And the first one you want to consider is the ASUS all-in-one desktop. It's 24 inch again. And let's look at this. This is eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of SSD. But this comes with the Intel Pentium Gold CPU, and it's a 7505 CPU. So it's a gold CPU which from Intel, if you like Intel. And this one's only 579, so a great value from ASUS. And if you look at the design of this, it's almost got zero bezels on it. It almost looks like cell phone bezels. Really good system for the price. But let's just say you wanna spend a little bit more, but you like this design, you can step it up to the next one. And this one's gonna be a lot different. So it's Asus, it looks exactly the same, 24 inch, 1080p, great screen on this. But this is gonna have a Ryzen 3 again, so way better CPU. 32, what is it, 3250U processor, Ryzen 5, great CPU. And then eight gigs of RAM and 256 gig of SSD space as well. So look at that, I highly recommend this one. Um, Asus makes a great, great system. But let's just say now you're looking at Apple for all the Apple lovers. My channel is a lot about Apple. There's a couple Apple systems to consider. The very first one though I wanna kinda of go with you is, is basically the obvious one. The 24 inch iMac, I'm gonna have some pictures up here right now. These are a little bit pricey. They're gonna be about $12.99, so the most expensive one here. But if you want Apple, you know you want Apple, this is what you need to have. Um, this has got eight core CPU, seven core GPU, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigabyte SSD, limited ports on the back, just two USB-Cs. But if you know on Apple, you know, Mac OS, this is the one probably for you. It's got the new M1 chip in it, so the Apple Silicon transferring to that. But surprisingly, this is not the Apple one I recommend. Let's go to the one I recommend. I actually have one sitting over there I do all my video editing on. This is the 2020, so just a year old, 27 inch, Intel, it's the last Intel model that they made in the iMac. 27 inch, it's got an i5-10500, eight gigs of RAM, um, and 256 gigabyte SSD. Now the caveat here is there's two things here. It's got a 5K screen, believe it or not, 5K. It's also got a Radeon Pro 5300 graphics card built into it as well. You get that totally built in. And these are renewed now, mind you. I'm gonna have a link in Amazon. These are renewed, but they're 1199, 5K screen. And the kicker is you can upgrade the RAM yourself. The only thing, probably last time ever for Apple. I have tons of RAM in my system. You can go ahead and put it up to 128 gigs of RAM and you can video edit to your life's content for at least five or six more years. I recommend this system over that 24 inch for sure. So if you're looking for Apple, that's the one I would get before they're gone. You can still buy them on the store, but they're gonna be gone soon. And then finally is the Chromebook. This is the crazy one. Last one I wanted to show you today. It's a little bit cheaper. You can get different models. There's one at Best Buy. Check that out. It's $4.99. This one I'm going to have a link to at Amazon. It's five. Let me see here. $5.99. This is actually the Chrome base 21 and a half inch, you know, 21.5 inch. Comes with the screen, 1080p, super bright. I think it's like four to 500 nit screen. Now the crazy thing here is it's an all-in-one Chromebook, which is really nice. It's got all the ports you need. It's got a built-in kind of home base speaker. I'll show it to you here. Really, really cool. And then also the screen flips. And this is the case, this is the kicker. The, the, the screen will flip on you. I might actually get one. I might review it later, but I might have it for all my notes over here in the corner because you can flip the screen this way and read down if you do a lot of reading like that. Really crazy idea. Chromebook, it's only, you know, that's around 600 bucks. But like I said, you can find models a little bit less than this. Um, you know, I think this one comes with the gold CPU, Intel, Intel Pentium Gold, four gigs of RAM, 128 gig SSD. As you know, they don't usually need a lot of RAM or SSD space. But if you, you know, if you ramp it up a little bit, they'll get a little bit more expensive. But there's a model at Best Buy a little bit cheaper. So check that out as well. Let me know what you think. 
All right, let's wrap this up. So at the end of the day, let me know what you think. You guys like these videos. I just wanna show people if you're looking for those all in ones, what are the best ones for 2022, maybe Christmas 2021 to purchase right now. Um, the best one I think so far, I mean, obviously I love that Apple, that Intel 127 inch, that's probably my favorite. But if you're looking for the best value here, let me go ahead and pull it up. I actually think, let me see here, I think it's gonna be the, Let's keep going. I think it's going to be the Lenovo, and I got to find that one. I, I can't, it's the one that's going to have maybe 16 gigs of RAM. Here it is right here. So I think the best value is the one that's 719. It's basically going to have 512 SSD in it, 16 gigs of RAM. It's got a Ryzen 5 4500U, $719 from, I believe this is Lenovo. I think that would probably be the best value one if you want to be in between the, the high end and the low end. But at the end of the day, it's up to whatever you want. These are all different systems and they're all different designs and you know people have different tastes and stuff. So let me know what you think. Put the comments below. Are these a good representation of what's out there? Hope you can subscribe to my channel. It's gonna help me grow. I'll talk to everybody soon. Peace.